Hello and welcome to the non tutorial in the SFML 2.1 series and in this part we're going to be looking at live keyboard input. We'll be using the source code from the third part of the series. If you don't have it, don't worry, there'll be a link in the description. We have previously looked at events that notify you when an event occurs, such as resizing the window or clicking a button on a keyboard. This is limited to the while loop that you pull events in. The need may arise for you to just check in any class, for example, if keyboard input has occurred. So for a player, it needs to check if in their update loop, which will be covering later on in the series, if the left key has been pressed, move left, for example. This can be done via live keyboard input. So to do live keyboard input, all you do outside of this while loop, outside of the poll while loop, you do if and in here you do SF keyboard is key pressed and then in here you provide the key that you want to check if it is pressed. I'm going to put SF keyboard space. Then I'm going to check if the space key is being pressed and I'm going to do STDC out. Oops, too many quotation marks. Jump player STD and line. Now let's just run this. Okay, so I'm going to move it over. If I click any keyboard space, nothing happens. But if I click space, I'm only tapping it. And I think you may have noticed that it printed it out a lot of the times. And this is great because unlike events, which have to poll which is a lot slower, uh, doing live keyboard input is a lot faster. So it's great for stuff like animation. So those are the differences between events and live keyboard input. Events are great for something that you're always sort of detecting to occur as a general thing, so like closing a window, resizing a window, and something more particular to your application or to your class, then you use something like live keyboard input. Live keyboard input uses static functions and are not meant to be instantiated. As you can see here, nothing was instantiated like an event or anything, and we just call the function using the namespace because they were static functions. In the next part of this series, we're going to be looking at live mouse input. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk. The email will be in the description. You can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube. All the required links for source code will also be in the description. And as usual, thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great day.